There is a worldwide pandemic. No, it is not about COVID. But yet, another serious pandemic that has been a major issue across many generations around the world. Nearly 14 out of 100 people in the United States in 2019 <clears throat> smoke tobacco. Cigarettes are dangerous since it's, an, since it's an issue that can be that can easily be prevented. Since this smoking can lead to many forms of illnesses that can be fatal, if not serious, detrimental to the body. If someone does decide to quit smoking tobacco, this will not only benefit the host but the people around the host as well. <clears throat> I will speak about the many problems that come with smoking. And I will also advise people who, who do consume cigarettes to stop because everyone is different. Since everyone is different, you know, seeking help will be, will vary among people. I will also inform the audience about how smoking is, the, is bad for the person economically, physically, socially, and mentally. <clears throat> According to the CDC, cigarettes were first brought into the United States back in 1800s. But there were there are some anti-smoking pushing and activity that occurred in the 1880s to 1920s. But there are some good uses with cigarettes, such as in World War One, used to calm soldiers and calm pain. But the, and there was also recent recent action to reduce smoking in this country in the modern times. <clears throat> One of the most obvious reasons, money is always difficult to come by. Low-income households have a higher cigarette consumption as well. The main reason, or one of the reasons, is economic reasons. Economically, prices. The average cost of a cigarette cigarette pack is sixteen twenty-eight, which leads to one hundred eighty-eight dollars a month, to and two thousand dollars, two thousand two hundred ninety-two dollars per year. And this is the average. It varies from person to person. Some people some people spend more money on it. Some people, while other people spend less. You should, but you know, you should never buy cigarettes. <clears throat> above, above the average is the poverty line. Some spend uh, above the uh, above was average. Some spend more, causing poverty. Cheap prices equal more spending since the since the prices of the cigarettes are cheap. Some people are willing to spend more on it, which only you know increases the consumption of cigarettes. Another economic factor is the low income. Low income households leads to stressful times, which only you know, which leads the low income people to buy cigarettes, which to reduce to reduce the stress. Sadly, the low, which results in the low income population having higher cigarette consumption, and that should stop because the price of cigarettes only, which on, on, will only lead to the low income family to stay low income, which results in less money. Smoking has dangerous side effects, both both economically and physically, can be life threatening or seriously harming to the body. The main physical factor of smoking cigarettes is illness. Smoking can lead to coronary heart disease, which coronary heart disease, which again can and which can also be increased by two or four times. It can also lead to lung cancer develops. Obviously, you're, you're smoking, you're inhaling dangerous substance, which might lead to you know lung cancer. And it also develops COPD, which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which is which just makes the makes the person harder to breathe. It makes it harder to breathe for a person, even if people have asthma. It just makes it even worse. Five cigarettes. Five five cigarettes can lead to cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease, yeah. It can also cause strokes. Strokes are blood clots, are clots clots block the blood flow to the part of your of your brain or blood vessels in around the around your brain to burst which you, know, you don't want your, you don't want your blood vessels to burst around important organs such as your vein or heart and one of the most serious to some people <laughs> that uh, that affects that smoking affects is that it makes a person age faster and you don't you never want to look older than what you are to be honest so I don't know why you would smoke <clears throat> that's one of the main reasons I don't want to smoke because I don't want to look older. I already look, I already look old for a person my age, so I don't want to look older. Another physical effect smoking has to a person is birth. Some birth effects that you know can are caused by smoking are can be stillbirth, which you know it's just already you don't ever, you never want to you know have a raise have a baby in your stomach for nine months only to have it pass away when you're born. That's just sad. 
Another effect, another birth effect is low birth weight, or in SIDS, which is sudden infant death, sudden infant death syndrome, which is when the infant suddenly dies for no apparent reason. Sometimes up, up to the age of one, and you, you never want to see. You never want to see a death of an infant like that. Uh, another birth effect is preterm birth, which I think is the same as still, but I should delete that. Another great reason to stop smoking. And I'm glad some people are, and I'm glad, and I'm one of them, which is, you know, is people, is people, shaming people who smoke. And smoking does cause secondhand smoking. So another factor, you know, another reason why you should stop smoking is, is not socially, you know, welcome, to be honest. Secondhand smoking. What is secondhand smoking? Secondhand smoking is also known as passive smoking. It is inhalation of smoke by a person by a person other than the intended smoker and which is pretty much if you're in a car somebody smoking in the car with you you're inhaling and you're not the one smoking and you inhale the smoke that's secondhand smoking and what, what does secondhand smoking cause is it pretty much causes the same effect that the person who who does want to the intended smoker it causes the same effect to that of the intended smoker which is you know car, coronary heart disease lung cancer COPD cardiovascular disease, strokes, and aging faster. Another socially affected side, well, another reason why you should stop smoking in a social factor is social view. Non-smokers are seen in a bad light by me and you know my family. We, when I see people smoking cigarettes or tobacco, I just don't, I, I personally don't look at them in, in a really great view. It also leaves people with a bad smell. You don't you don't want to walk around. You know you walk around. If you smoke, you walk around smelling like cigarettes, and you do not want to smell like cigarettes. I'm telling you. It also leaves a bad impression in the youth, which which leads to, you know, the youth population, to smoke, which is you never want to see that. <clears throat> Similar to that of what smoking can cause the, to the body physically, smoking also affects the mental side as well. Mental. Another which is another reason why you should stop smoking is mentally. Addiction. The nicotine reaches the brain in ten seconds, which is crazy fast. And what does nicotine cause in the brain? Nicotine increases the mood, in concentration, relaxes the muscles, and also decreases anger, which is all which is all great and good. But but also but smoking also leads to withdrawal. Withdrawal is whenever you want to stop smoking. No, withdrawal is the effects. A person gets when they don't get the fix, which is you know smoking, which increases the effects the nicotine sedates, sedates which is you know increases you know incre decreases mo decreases moods, decreases the concentration. It does not cause relaxation of the muscles and in and increases anger. So why should you stop smoking? One. Economically, you'll you're you'll burn through your money really quick, which you never want that. Oh, the low income, stayed low income, you don't want to see that. Physically, you'll develop some illnesses which can lead to death if not serious illnesses or effects. It can lead to some birth effects which you never want to see. Secondhand smoking, which you know you're already smoking, you don't want to, you know, danger somebody else. You'll be seen in a bad light by the public view by me. <laughs> and it can lead to addiction, which is you don't want that. Sadly, the worldwide pandemic of cigarette smoking has plagued this country for centuries, affecting one-tenth of the population of this country. Smoking can be easily prevented, and it leaves a sour taste that all the unfortunate events resulted in such a ha such a habit to occur. On a great note, there are people who are willingly, willingly actively trying to quit smoking, which should always be seen as a courageous action. Smoking products, po smoking products for health purposes can be allowed for consumption with a written prescription of an authorized phys physician. And a certain variety of smoking products can be consumed. There, ha there has been a steady decline of cigarette consumption, but there has been an increase from another form of smoking. Nicotine addiction pertaining to vapor-related smoking is another form of smoking that has taken popularity across the younger population. This is, al this is also a growing issue that has been occurring nationwide and worldwide. We must set an example to the younger population by teaching them that smoking is a bad habit to acquire. And to achieve that, we, we, we must first end the pandemic of cigarette smoking in general. Thank you.